from Penny. Hi, everybody. The book we're going to read today is Pirates Don't Change Diapers. It sounds like a pretty fun book, but first I have to put my glasses on. Pirates Don't Change Diapers, written by Melinda Long. Pirates don't change diapers. They don't even change socks. I know, because I used to be a pirate, but that's another story. Today, while I was wondering what to buy my mother for her birthday with the 27 cents in my pocket, mom came into the room. Jeremy Jacob, she said, I have to go get some milk. Your dad's taking a nap, so try not to bother him. As she went out the door, she called, if your sister wakes up, try to keep her happy. I'll be back soon. Oh, great, I thought. Keeping that baby happy is never easy. Mom had hardly been gone a minute when I heard a knock on the door and I peeked through the peephole. It was gray here. Come on, because I'm sure he just fell over. <laughs> there were some old friends on the front porch. Ahoy there, Jeremy Jacob. Are we ever glad to see you, said Captain Braidbeard. We've run into a boatload of trouble. Our ship ran aground on a coral reef. The bow broke open and our figurehead's nose tore right off. I had it carved special to look just like me blessed mother too. Hey, his mother, the crew chorused. It'll have to be replaced and that'll cost us a pretty penny, Braidbeard said. We be needing the treasure we buried in your backyard. Treasure, the pirates repeated. What, with all that yelling, my baby sister woke up. It's a miracle my dad didn't wake up too. Arg, hollowed, breed, beard. What be the cotton mauler? That's Bonnie Ann, I said, and I'm supposed to keep her quiet. You'll have to help me babysit. Babysit? Brave Beard scratched his head. Pirates don't sit on babies. No sitting on babies, hollowed the crew. But there was no way we'd be digging up the treasure, I told them, until Bonnie happy Ann book? was happy. What's that? I don't think it's Captain Hook. And why but does he have a Hook in there? I think it's a pirate that has a hook. Yeah. That's how the pirates became babysitters. Yeah. <laughs> Except for someone who looks like that. <laughs> Bonnie Ann always has her diaper changed after a nap, but the pirates need a lot of practice. Things got really interesting when we ran out of diapers. So all they had to do was use the other ones. <laughs> Let's see. Then it was Bonnie Ann's lunchtime. And when she gets hungry, everybody knows it. Bree Beard sniffed the baby food. Shiver me timbers, he yelled. What be this vile smelling swill? It's probably avocado. Strained spinach. Strained spinach, Braidbeard said. A bilge rat wouldn't eat this stuff. Then Bonnie Ann sneezed. I got out of the way just in time. Ah, strained spinach, wailed the pirates. Oh, and now we have Cody joining us. Hey, Cody. <laughs> when Bonnie Ann was finally changed and fed, we thought we'd be able to get outside to dig. But every time we tried to sneak away, the baby got fussy again. She does that a lot. Now, what does the wee mutineer want? Braidbeard demanded. Maybe you should rock her, I said. Hey then, bellowed Braidbeard. 
Rock on, me hearties. Rock on, cheered the crew. Not that kind of rock, I groaned, using the rocking chair. I still do rocking chair. <laughs> when rocking didn't work, we tried pirate peekaboo. We danced a pirate jig. We sang sea chanties. Look, I whispered, she's falling back asleep. Quick, let's dig up the treasure now. Time to dig, laddies, commanded Braidbeard. Shh, not so loud. Not so loud, roared the pirates. Bonnie Ann called the wild until we found the only person who could keep her quiet. Quicker than you can say, scurvy dog, we headed out the door to get the treasure. The map, said Braidbeard. Hand over the map. The map? Everybody emptied their pockets. No luck. The wee lass, she must have it. Braidbeard hollowed and we all ran for the house. But the map wasn't there. Neither was Bunny Ann. The map, cried Brave Beard. The treasure, boomed to the crew. The baby, I yelled louder than anyone. After all, she is my sister and I was getting really worried. We searched all over the house, then ran back outside. We stopped so fast, we were almost pirate pancakes. Pirate pancakes? <laughs> there was Bonnie Ann, and she had the map. Avast, yelled Braidbeard. The wee lass has eaten it. Now we'll never be able to fix the ship. We're marooned. Marooned, moaned the others. Maybe not, I said. Thanks to my little sister, I think I know exactly where to dig. With all of us digging, we found the treasure in no time. Braidbeard opened the chest and grinned. Choose your reward, Jeremy Jacob. You've earned your fair share. It didn't take me long to decide. Green is my mom's favorite color. If you need a babysitter again, matey, Braidbeard said. You know how to find us. Just run the Jolly Roger up yonder, up the pole. Up yonder pole, I shouted. As the pirates headed back to the ship, Bonnie and Bonnie Ann and I ran straight for the house. Bonnie Ann? His baby sister. We had a birthday present to wrap. Mm. And this book was for Papa Long, the coolest pirate of them all. And for baby Quinlan, who comes from good pirate stock, has four teeth now and loaned me a diaper to draw. Yeah, and that's how a pirate babysits a baby. That's right. Thank you, everybody. We hope you enjoyed the book. Thanks for stopping by later.